Hello, I'm Darren from Nutrisoil. I'm here at Luke Harrington from Regen Farming, and we're here at um, Richard Guthrie's place at um, Galgate Tree Nursery. Uh, I'm going to hand straight over to Richard because um, he's he's uh, working through some um, issues with, uh, with growing. So I'm going to hand over to Richard to um, give us a little summary of what's been happening. Yeah, I started down the uh, potted tree path about three years ago and had a magnificent first year. And ever since then, we've been battling some um, issues that, uh, to be honest, I was sick of trying to band-aid the, um, the things I was seeing uh, in these potted trees. So went out and started to look for some answers myself. And um, I knew biology in these pots um, had a role to play. Um, and put my thinking cap on and realised with some Googling that I had Nutrisoil in my own backyard uh, and it was probably going to be worth a phone call to these guys and then a visit to go and have a chat to them and see what Nutrisoil could offer me. A problem I had uh, at the time uh, I made the visit was a, a green peach aphid or a black peach aphid which was colonising the tips of these apple trees you can see around us here. And I was most embarrassed, um, had an international visitor come on site and lo and behold, I had to show him a, a big forest of uh, aphid. After the visit with the guys at Nutrisoil, they just recommended we, we just try it. We go and put a, an application of 10 litres a hectare with a boom spray over the top of these plants, followed by uh, a an injection through these drippers um, of about one, when I say about exactly 1.4 mil every one of these plugs. Thought no more of it. Came back a week to 10 days later, and lo and behold, the green pizza, peach aphid had just disappeared. I couldn't believe my eyes. So now, now I'm starting to think there's something in these um, biological products that can't be ignored anymore. So yeah, this is the path I'm, I'm choosing to go down at the moment. Um, and reached out further to the Nutrisol guys, got Luke involved, and that's what we're doing here today to try and form a plan to move forward. Yeah. So, Richard, with the um, with the issues that you had, where do you think they came from? What? Well, we'd not only had a an insect problem in the tops of the trees. Um, some diagnostics proved that I had a Pseudomonas syringi attack in the aerial parts of the tree and a Phytophthora captorum attack in the roots of these um, alley pots here. Um, the Pseudomonas syringi is in every raindrop in earth, so we've got that battle. And unfortunately, we've had a, a, um, a fairly anaerobic wet spring which is perfect for syringi outbreaks the phytophthora uh well it, i think it proves in my further investigations i'm proving to myself that i am my own problem my rootstocks are produced in a stool bed which are in natural ground and in a bad year phytophthora will get in and, and run run right through things so that's where my inoculum is coming from so yeah, again, moving forward, we've got to develop a plan with the use of some biology to um, help, you know, yeah. get on top of these things. Yeah, fantastic. And when we were standing up there before, you were looking at some plants and you, and, you, and you noticed that where you'd put the Nutrisoil and where the new growth had been, that where, where the Nutrisoil had gone or the biologicals had been put on, you felt that that was a better, yeah, look, better was, plant? For, for 20 minutes, I was, I was looking over top of Luke's head there and I just it just dawned on me that the the last probably 100 to 150 mil of the growth of the tree uh, is holding the biggest leaf in the whole plant um, and what that says to me is for the entire growth of this season of the plant they've been wandering long under stress let's say and then the six weeks ago four to six weeks ago when I applied the Nutrisoil is it a coincidence? I don't know, but it seems to me that the biggest leaf are in that top 100 to 150 mil since the application of some biology. Now, I don't think it's a coincidence. No, I don't think it is either. When you add 
something like Nutrisoil or, or a biological that's got a little bit of nutrition in it, some good biology, it just makes the plant all that healthier and, um, and allows it to photosynthesize better and get better like sugars in the plant. So our things like our aphids and mites and that aren't an issue. And then all of a sudden the plant can fend for itself. So I think that's what's happened. And um, yeah, I think that's the, the path that you probably should travel, use um, some conventional style things and let's bring in some biology and some um, some good natural remedies as well and, and, and look at it more holistically. Mm, no, look, I'm, I'm convinced and this is the path I'm going to go down to uh, down uh, in the future, um, not only for the trees that are producing these alley pots, but um, out in the field as well. Yep. Fantastic. Thanks, Richard. Thanks, Luke. No problem. Thanks, Darren. There'll be more soon. Next chapter. <laughs>